Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. The last time we built this incredible looking shopping center which already has too few workers. But that's just this building and they need 32 highly educated uh, people. I don't know why, but they do. Also, I noticed um, people that go into the shop, they just stand around here uh, instead of actually going inside. So I think there's probably something wrong with one of, uh, you know, one of the, not spawn point, but uh, th this point should probably be moved inside. So uh, I have to see if I can find a mod for that. Anyway, today, we are going to be focusing our main attention on residential demand because we have a lot of it. And I was thinking we could continue on the low density zoning here with some more row houses. So that would give us at least a couple of thousand more residents, I think. Also today, um, we, although there aren't any problems anymore, I was going to say we're going to fix the not enough raw materials for uh, this farm. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? You know that's not a road, right? And you're driving through a wall. Yeah, sure. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to park there. Okay. So we need more people. Desperately. So let's get started on that for today. Now, the place where we are going to create this neighborhood, I think is over here. Now I'm wondering, do I need another highway exit over here? I don't want to put too much stress on this roundabout, especially once we are starting to build on the island, because I think then what will happen is this road will split up in two. One going along the countryside, the other one becoming a bridge and going to the island. But maybe it's too early for another highway exit. So let's just focus on the new neighborhood for now. And let's see. I think I want this one to be a little bit bigger. So I think we're going to go up until here. And then we can make a junction here. with more roads over here like that now this can then be a nice little intersection uh, maybe we need to make that a little bit bigger that's the 12 yeah that's all right then, okay, um, do we want to continue this road? It, ha it has been a theme so far, but I think I'm going to do that. But instead of going straight on, I think we're going to come from down here. Very nice. And then we will use these. Um, so we're going for terraced houses. So maybe a little bit more uh, straight on. I'm not sure how big the houses are that I want to put over here. Let's find some house. Should we start with these ones? I really like these ones. And then um, one more. Come on. Let's place it here. We can always move it to over here. One snap. Okay. That's the one I wanted. Okay. 
Uh, let's make sure these are historical. Okay, and then you are a little bit too close to the road, so you need to move over here. Like so. And then, of course, this road is not in the correct place anymore. Oh, ships. Excellent. And then we can add a few more this side. And that's about enough. I think we can spruce this up with some trees. Then let's see. This is four deep. So if I were to put some more houses on this side, does that leave me enough room for a path? It does. Oh, but the house disappeared. Okay. Uh, okay, it's not wide enough. So I need to go a little bit more this way. That's a little too far. I think that's okay. Now, before I forget, let's remove the trees in here. Like so. Excellent. Now, what can we add in here? I don't want to connect it up. I think that would be too close. I do want to connect the sidewalks. And then maybe we can add a few more over here. A few over here. Oh, that is pretty close. You know what? Nothing on this side. This side will become a little bit of a park. And then historical, historical. Very nice. And we can add path over here. Very nice. That is connected and that is connected. Maybe one over here. Excellent. That is this corner of the new neighborhood done. Nice. You know what? I'm going to detail it right away. I'm going to add a few trees while we are here. Excellent. Now, I don't like it when the houses all have the same orientation in a neighborhood. So for the next set of houses, we are going to build the streets in a slightly different direction. Excellent. very nice then before we continue all the way down to this neighborhood i think what we need is we need something in here to break up all the houses and i'm thinking a 
spark. Uh, I am running low on money though, so perhaps we'll let it run a little bit. Uh, that way people can already move in here as well. So I'm thinking something like a small park. Oh, you don't have water. Let me fix that real quick. All right, that should do it. Cost me even more money. So let's speed up the simulation a little bit. Maybe it's time to wait a little bit until people are starting to move in here. It shouldn't be too long. But this is a nice little neighborhood. Um, I think what we're going to do is even though we are <clears throat> building a single village, what I think we're going to do is we're going to add districts over each neighborhood. Uh, firstly, so I can see how many people are living in that neighborhood. And secondly, maybe to add some names to it. Once I get around to thinking of names. I mean, we still haven't gotten a name for uh, this area. It's still called Springwood. Oh, jumpy game. So if anybody has any suggestions for a name, please let me know. So we have, that's Beach Park, that's Myrtle District, Spruce Park. And then of course our shopping district. Excellent. Okay, so if we look at Beach Park, this is the old, old town. 659 people live here. Spruce Park, our rich people area, 1098. Emerson Heights with the high rises or the mid rises, 614. Florence Square, of course, nobody because there is no houses. And there are 494 people in Myrtle District. Uh, ah, yeah, of course, this, I knew this was going to happen. Um, we're going to struggle with this for a while because I placed down all these random buildings. Um, but they are actually different levels. So, yeah, we're going to have an issue with that for a while. But that's no problem. We can deal with that. So, what we're going to do in here, instead of a park, I was thinking about it while placing the districts. Instead of a park, we're going to add elder care. Like so. And I really like this building. And I think it could be a nice addition into this neighborhood with um, yeah, some of these row houses. And then behind the elder care, very nice. Now, yeah, of course, these houses are all going to be abandoned pretty quickly. Um, should have paid more attention to that. Next thing we can even add here is small medical clinic. Where does this come from? Ah, this is one of the SimCity 4 things. Yeah, okay. Uh, we already built that one. Oh, that is massive. Let's add this one. Looking nice. Maybe a small fire truck house, small fire station. Again, this is that one of those SimCity 4 rebuilds. I really like it. I think it looks pretty good, even though it has a Belgian flag on it. But we can live with that. We can have a Belgian flag here and there. And we can add a little path in the back here. Excellent. Now, let's copy a few of those. Let's not copy the ones that are complaining about low land value. Very, very nice. 
Right, yeah, you're going to be complaining for a while. Then... Let's change the direction of the roads again. Let's do it like this. Put the guidelines back on. And let's copy some houses that aren't complaining. Excellent. Looking nice, apart from all the abandoned buildings, of course. We're almost at the edge of the next neighborhood. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going with these houses until we reach that. One thing that we did forget, or maybe we didn't forget, maybe <laughs> I just ignored it, um, is parking lots. Because although these houses have, oh, they do park on their driveways, I see. I wasn't really sure about that. So these houses do have parking space each. Um, that's why there aren't as many parked cars around the roads that have parking. Uh, but the fact still is that these small roads don't have parking, which means we should add some more parking spaces. So. Um, you can't add any more tabs. Add parking. Now I want the B ones. In this case, because I want to repeat the trick we did with some of the other houses. Not sure if that is going to work over here. Man, that's a lot of birds. Uh, not sure if that's going to work, but it's worth a shot, I guess. Excellent, excellent, and let's copy that very well. Mm, yeah, I like that. I like that very much. Let's do another round of resets. I have the feeling it's already less of an issue than it was. Oh, because a lot of them leveled up. What the hell? I didn't make you historical? Okay. Okay, looks like we're all set now. Nothing else leveled up? No. Okay. All right, only a little bit left to go. Um, let's see, how can we fill those? I think we can just do more of this, to be honest, without the parking lots, because those birds are driving me crazy. Was it that bad over here as well? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, fortunately, you don't really see them anymore from a distance, so... Okay. Now... This nook in here, I left open deliberately for a primary school. And the one we are going to use is, I really like this community school. Not sure if it's the best fit for here. Yeah, we're going with this one. Mm -hmm. 
And then, of course, this also needs some parking. Let's use these ones. I don't think these generate birds. Or at least not as much. Back here. Nice. That one tree needs to go, unfortunately. And then I did have this little soccer field, which I really like. And we put that in here. Excellent. That is the school. We need a little bit more trees in here, but for now I want to finish these uh, houses over here. Excellent! Looking good! Half of Myrtle District is done and we already have 1400 people living here. Very nice. Now, for the other half of this district, I was thinking maybe a little bit more uh, expensive houses. Maybe something like this. Although these don't have any garages or any driveways. Though we could just use move it and put them a lot closer to the road, which looks better. But they also don't have any backyards. So I'd have to do that myself as well. You know, I really like these ones as well. And these are three different variations. Yeah, I think I'm going with those for now. Keep up the UK theme in this district a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. So let me build out the rest of this neighborhood real quick and I'll be right back with you. that that took me way longer than <laughs> i intended to um as you can see instead of the straight roads i used on the top half of myrtle district and i decided to use a little bit more wavy roads and uh, that meant that i basically had to put down each house individually and then rotate it individually to have them close enough together as to where I wanted them because otherwise it would have been and yeah, they would have been very more apart and that just didn't look good um, so yeah I also added some more parks uh, like this carousel here um, I dotted some dog parks around here's one 
Um, here's another one in the hopes of getting the land value up. Let's see, what is the land value around here? You know, it isn't great. This part is getting better. Um, not sure why this part is so bad. There are parks around here. There's a park here, there's a park here. There are also services. I did add a post office. <clears throat> um, maybe you saw this in the last episode as well. I added a Mercury post office, which is a, a new brand created by modders. Um, it contains a post office. It has a distribution center and a whole lot of trucks that all have the same brand and that are modded. So that's cool. Um, I added some more shops, some of which are already abandoned uh, around the school area because now that we have some more residents, uh, our demand for commercial has gone up as well again. So I think we need another commercial zone, maybe not as big as this one, but another commercial zone on this side of the city, maybe in this area here. I also think that the time has come for a train station, uh, maybe along here. I know the track splits up there, but yeah, realistically we can push that back down to there. So we have this entire width to play with if we want a train station that can go in every direction. Let us see how many residents does Myrtle District have. Myrtle District have 2,254. I think that's about half of our entire population. So with this one district, we doubled our population size, which isn't bad. But if we take a look at our uh, farming industry it has room for a thousand workers and we only have 340 something working here so we need a lot more residential areas and that is why our demand is still very high all right so i fully expected that to be the end of this episode i even recorded all the cinematics and stuff uh, but after editing it, I cut away so much and I used so many time lapses that I only have an episode of less than 30 minutes. So we're getting a little bonus episode today. Another bonus episode, a bonus uh, addition to this episode that I haven't planned. Now, since people are complaining about low land value, Although it is getting better, it isn't as dark blue anymore in this corner as it was before. I think because they are complaining, let's do something about the land value. And there are a couple of ways we can increase land value. We can, of course, add more services, but hospital pretty well covered. Maybe not down here, but that's not what we're looking at right now. Death care could be better. I think another cemetery around here would help massively. So I'll pull up it down right now, just so I'll remember. Then we have child health care could also be better, but there aren't a whole lot of red houses. Almost every house is blue. So it's not that important right now. Elder care, of course, we put in this area. And then recreational care, it's the same as healthcare, I guess. Uh, we do have pool, yoga garden, we have a sauna. Let's plop down a sauna in here as well. Now, fire coverage, we added the fire station here. We will need a second one over here somewhere when we start building there. It's very poor in here for some reason, but okay, please. Yeah, it's all right. We don't need a lot of police coverage. Schools, of course, primary schools. Um, we have enough capacity for now. Could do with another one over here somewhere, but I think that is for when we um, start building this neighborhood. Middle school or high school capacity is good. Again, 
could have one a little close by, but I think it's okay for now. Of course, uh, public transport is an important factor in, in land value. But that is going to be an episode in and on itself. And then finally, we have parks. Now, as you can see, we have a whole lot of parks dotted around. Uh, mainly because all the parking lots I've been putting down are considered parks. And because I just add a lot of parks in general. But one thing we can do is we can use the parks DLC. So we can add a park area around here. And I think this would be an excellent place to have a little bit of a divide between the row houses. And I think this will be um, more of this, like uh, mid-rises, low-rise to mid-rise apartment buildings. So I think a park dividing the two isn't a terrible idea. Doesn't need to be too big. Um, I'm thinking something like... So, let's make this a city park and let's take a main entrance and this road doesn't have any zoning again and let's take move it because I want it to be opposite the dog park. Now the cemetery, as I said, can be part of uh, this park. So let's relocate this building, which we can do because we need it to be empty. Excellent. Let's put it in the middle here on top. Very nice. And then we need a few more side gates, I think. Maybe one over here, one over here down there and then this can be one of the side gates i don't need to make a lot of money uh, with this park so i don't mind if people uh, can enter without paying so let this be the main road or the main path inside the park Excellent. We can continue the simulation now that the cemetery is where we want it. Then let's see, what do we have? What uh, would be something that can be in this park? Obviously, I want a cafe. And this seems like the perfect spot for it. Then let's have some restrooms in here as well. Maybe add one over here. Excellent. Now I don't think this park is big enough to warrant an info booth. Um, what we can do is add a chessboard. A little bit uh, funny. Something to play with. And trampolines. Mm, I do like the climbing frame. So let's add... Let me add two of those, one over here, or one over here. This one needs to be a little further back, like so. Very nice. And then finally, we can add some gazebos. They're always nice to find in a park, I think. And that's about it. I don't think we need any more. And since people can walk in through the cemetery for free anyway, I'm not going to put a fence around it. What I am going to do is take my forest brush and add some trees in it. Very nice. Now, Something I did notice was that I don't have any bushes in my uh, tree brush, only trees, which is all right, I think, which is all right for 
you know, in general, putting trees down. But I think in a park setting like this, we need some more shrubs um, to make it a little bit more interesting. Excellent. I think that looks much better for a park setting. Now, let's see, you are still complaining about low land value, but what is the actual land value now? Right, it's gone up a little bit, not much. Not as much as I would have thought by adding this park, but maybe it's a, it's a, it's a time thing. So let's uh, let the game run for, say, 10 minutes, and then we'll come back. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Um, I think it's gotten a little better, but not much. Don't think it's going to get any better than it is right now. As you can see, the house is still abandoned. But there's only five, which I think is a good sign. So the park did help a little bit, not as much as I would have liked. I think um, public transit is going to be the real upgrade to land value once I get the buses in. I don't think we're going to have a subway or a tram here, but we are definitely going to have a bus line that goes through here and then uh, deposits people at the train station, which will be here. I think now that I'm looking at it, maybe we can start our train station uh, modifications to the rail already. And that means that we need rail here in the middle. I don't want snapping for this one right now, please. Thank you. So we need a railroad in the middle there. Let's pause for a second. Excellent. And then get our favorite tool. Which won't work. This one then. Mm. So, a little bit bigger of a radius. A little bit bigger of a radius. Excellent. That's a nice spot for a train station to be in. And then we need... these to connect it looks like it's enough yeah that's not too bad hopefully it still works i've never done it like this before but uh, yeah that looks all right excellent so next episode we can put our train station up here you know what i'm going to do i'm going to mm, maybe like so yeah much more natural much better curve excellent that should do it for today. We built this very nice looking uh, neighborhood, a nice little park, a new highway entrance and exit. I'm not really too certain about this part yet. Um, we might need to find a better way to connect uh, this part of the village to this highway exit. Um, but for now it'll do and that's a project for a later episode so until then i want to thank everybody very much for watching and i will see you all in the next episode bye bye